Today the church remembers Lawrence, who died on this day in the year 258. The source of the martyrdom of Lawrence are among the earliest, though the details are thin. Lawrence was one of the seven deacons of Rome and closely associated with Pope Sixtus II, who was martyred just a few days before him. His examiners insisted he produced the church treasures. He probably did so. Assembling all the poor, he is reputed to have said, these are the treasures of the church. The story of his being put to death on a gridiron is a much later addition to his story. He died on this day, as I said before, in the year 258. In these days of COVID-19, an awful lot of people have found themselves furloughed or made redundant, and there's a lot of need in our society. The demand on food banks has never been higher, and we are all reminded of the fact that the poor are really are the treasures of the church and that we should do all we can to help them. And so we give thanks to the life and the example of Lawrence who was martyred for his faith. We pray for those in churches and nations where Christianity is persecuted and people are still being martyred to this day. Almighty God, you made Lawrence a loving servant of your people and a wise steward of the treasures of your church. Fire us with the example to love as he loved and to walk in the way that leads to eternal life through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Eternal God, who gave us your victory over the glories and celebrated the glories of the cross and victory over poverty and the victory of your martyr Lawrence in his saving death and resurrection give us all with all your saints the courage to conquer evil and so to share the fruits of the tree of life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of God Almighty the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always.